We will be studying the neutralization of a strong acid and weak acid with sodium hydroxide. The strong acids are hydrochloric acid and nitric acid, and the weak acid is acetic acid, and the strong base is sodium hydroxide. Measure out 50 milliliters of sodium hydroxide into a 100 ml graduated cylinder. Next, measure out 50 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. Take the temperature of the sodium hydroxide solution, and that will be your initial temperature. Rinse the thermometer off with the distilled water and pat it dry with a paper towel. Next, measure the temperature of the hydrochloric acid. Record the temperatures of the sodium hydroxide solution and the hydrochloric acid solution. The calorimeter consists of two styrofoam cups, which will be placed in a beaker for stability and will be covered once the reaction uh, is mixed. Pour the sodium hydroxide solution into the calorimeter Now add the hydrochloric acid cover insert thermometer and stir read thermometer and record final temperature repeat the procedure with nitric acid and acetic acid Now we're going to do part B, the enthalpy of solutions. And the first thing you will need to do is to weigh out two samples, which first begins by preparing the weighing paper so that the transfer of the solid to the calorimeter is easier. The balance, the weighing paper has been placed on the balance and now she will tear out the weighing paper, setting the balance back to zero. And this way she can get the three grams of sodium thiosulfate anhydrous that she will need for the experiment. Record the mass of the sodium thiosulfate anhydrous into the notebook. Measure 100 milliliters of distilled water. Transfer to the calorimeter. Measure the temperature of the water and record it in your notebook. Now add the three grams of sodium thiosulfate to the calorimeter, cover and stir. Be mindful that you don't poke a hole in the bottom of the calorimeter. Once the temperature has stabilized, record the final temperature in your notebook. We will repeat the procedure using five grams of sodium thiosulfate pentahydrate. Part C, enthalpies of dissolution of magnesium solid and magnesium oxide. First, weigh the magnesium strip, but make sure the balance is set at zero. Record the mass of the magnesium in the notebook. In a graduated cylinder, measure out 100 milliliters of one molar hydrochloric acid. Pour hydrochloric acid into calorimeter and take initial temperature. 
add magnesium strip to hydrochloric acid. Before taking the final temperature reading, make sure that all the magnesium strip has reacted. The reaction is complete when the magnesium strip is gone. Take final temperature reading and record. You will repeat the experiment with magnesium oxide.